wanted to get a really early start today because I just don't want to be out into the uh, into the night too much, and I got about four miles to walk. I still feel really apprehensive about leaving my place unguarded, but if I want to check out what's going on in the area, I, I don't have much choice in that regard. I, I did take a couple uh, a couple precautions. I uh, well, first I took everything out of the house that I, I could kind of hide. Um, well, not everything. I, I took the weapons and the ammunition out and uh, some food and stuff. Uh, after the incident where I was, I came back and, uh, you know, there was a probe sitting at my house waiting. It just got me thinking, you know, what if I leave the house and then I go back and, you know, something's happened and I can't go back in there. Uh, so I wanted to have some sort of supplies. Uh, and also, if people got into the house, I wouldn't want them walking into a bunch of firearms and ammunition and then using that to keep keep me from getting back back in. So I took a lot of that kind of stuff, uh, which is really heavy, and went and buried it off in the woods, uh, just a little ways off where I felt like I could approach it without alerting anyone at the house. I tried to hide it as best I could. Uh, you know, obviously it's not completely disguised. Uh, you know, if I wasn't going to go dig in a hole and, and all that, but um, I think it's disguised enough so that if people are walking by, uh, you know, a hundred yards away or something like that, they're not going to see it and go walking over to it to investigate. The other precaution that I took as I was leaving is that I decided to leave some debris in front of the, the front door um, with a, a twig leaning against it so that hopefully, you know, if people were to walk in there, then I would... Uh, yeah, I'd see that the debris was moved and that would give me a sense of, you know, how paranoid I should be reapproaching the house and everything. I suppose I'd, it'd be prudent to be paranoid no matter what, but I don't know, I figured it just gave me a little extra sense of that. I've got a spotting scope, so, you know, from pretty far off I'll be able to see whether or not that debris's been moved off the door. And, uh, yeah, just overall I, I feel really apprehensive about going out and I'm not really even sure why I'm going out. What am I going to find out, you know? I guess I've got these paranoid sort of like, like prepper paranoid fears. It's like, uh, I'm gonna get into town. I'm not actually gonna go in town, but I'll like be on the periphery. Uh, but I, you know, I'm nervous I'm gonna get there and it's gonna be like a warlord state and it's all gone like Lord of the Flies. <laughs> of course, it's only been like a week, so I don't know about that. Uh, or, or, or just that like the whole place is just a cinder and there's like a giant, alien robot standing over all of it. I don't find that one very likely. Well, the cinder part could be, but I haven't seen any giant alien robots yet, so. <sighs> yeah. I, uh, in uh, deciding what to bring with me, I brought my my regular kind of like get home bag. Um, and I've got the supplies back at the house if I, that I buried, if I, you know, kind of need those and I can't get in. Uh, in terms of defense, I just brought my Glock, and that might seem kind of foolish because that AR-15 that Warren had is a, a much better weapon in a lot of ways, but uh, I'm just not that familiar with it. Um, I, I mean, I can load it and fire it, but if it jams, I just really don't, you know, I could probably figure out how to get it unjammed, but I don't know. I just don't have that fam much familiarity with it. Now I feel uncomfortable you know, go and trying to test it or anything, because I start firing it, you know, practicing and whatnot, you know, it's going to be really calling attention to myself. So I kind of wish I did a little bit more practice back when it, it wasn't dangerous to do the practice. But, I don't know, I, I am where I am, and where I am, I am comfortable with uh, my Glock, so I've got my Glock. I suppose there is a benefit of that if I do come across some people. Uh, yeah, I probably look less intimidating, just having a Glock on my hip instead of walking around with an assault rifle, and I guess, although being, in, looking intimidating, I suppose, is a double-edged sword, you know, it makes you more of a target of people that are afraid of you, um, or might make people less likely to want to mess with you, I don't know, like, it really can cut either way on that. Uh, I guess it's more my personality to try to make, uh, make nice with people, make friends, make alliances, as opposed to, uh, just being some badass, because I'm not, I'm not a badass. So, <sighs> yeah, overall though, I just, I feel really uncomfortable because I just don't know what to expect. I don't know what I'm walking into. I don't even know why I'm going out here. Like, what am I really going to learn from any of this? I don't know. 
I guess I'll find out. But it's a few miles into town. I decided to take the backwoods to uh, to get to town instead of taking any roads. I wanted to stay off the roads as best I could. It took me a little longer, but I think it was a good idea. I had to cut through one wide open field, which made me kind of nervous because I could see some of the big ships way off in the distance, nothing nothing local. But here I am, I'm at the the edge of the kind of the village green down here. It's like the kind of, the, I can see the commercial district across the field. And uh, what's disturbing me is that as I was coming in, I was hearing a lot of gunshots, uh, which I guess didn't really bother me at first until I realized I wasn't hearing any alien laser blasts or whatever the hell those things are. So, yeah, it's just, it's just gunshots. So this is, this is people fighting with other people here. Uh, yeah, I joked it, it was going to be like Lord of the Flies when I got down here. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen anyone walking around with a dead pig head on a, on a spear, but, uh, that's what they said. You know, people are nine meals away from going savage, right? And here we are. Now, you know, if the, if the people in this town had been preppers, we wouldn't have this problem right now, but now this is a problem because whoever's in there clearing everything out is going to make bigger and bigger circles once they exhaust everything in town, and sooner or later we're going to cross paths, so I'm going to get confronted with this at some point, so i got to figure out, i got to figure out how to deal with that. Um, I'm feeling okay right here right now because there's not been anybody coming across the green, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just hearing it from... Okay, there's someone coming out, but I think they're going to stay in town because that's where all the stuff is. I, okay, they're kind of walking this way, but still, I, I think I'm okay here because yeah, I'm behind the bushes. I don't think they're going to be able to see. Okay, okay, they totally see me. All right. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.